hey guys and welcome back to another video so this is going to be the part 2 of our Django and react series in the previous video we have looked into the basic installation of Python um, Django and we ran a boilerplate sample app that we get with Django which is uh, this uh, you can see it over here manage.py so if you haven't looked into my first video of the series please do check that out so in this video we'll be looking into the basic uh, uh, configurations of the sample app that we get with Django so this is a uh, manage.py file uh, and uh, we over uh, over here we have the uh, SQLi3 uh, database which we get as a default DB with Django but obviously you can change at uh, further stages of your project uh, this is my backend uh, uh, folder and within this you have your certain uh, files which is required for your Django project so we'll start with settings.py so over here you will have a security key or a secret key which will be required while deploying uh, to the production level over here you will have some basic uh, uh, apps installed as a default configuration over here you will have some uh, basic middlewares if you are integrating with the third party or something like that you will be requiring, requiring to add some configurations over here this is the main app when it comes to uh, third party integrations and if uh, there is any necessary configuration required to any database relation or something like that to your uh, Django project and uh, some templates which will uh, definitely look in the further videos but I'm just giving you an overview of this file because it is an important file over here you have the database configuration as you can see we have SQLite 3 as a default config and uh, certain uh, of variables related to static files such as your assets the images or the videos or any CSS file which you are going to use in your project so this is the settings.py file this will be very helpful in the future videos so make sure if you have any doubt regarding this you look into the documentation and also you can comment down below for any queries so moving on to urls.py so whatever URLs you use for your project will be mentioned over here. So all the URLs which you will be using or you will be creating for your apps or your project are being mentioned or included in this file. So it goes through this file only. So this is the project urls.py but if you create your individual uh, apps within that also you can provide urls.py so it uh, it is a way in which you tell your uh, apps that yeah include this uh, url as well for my project so yeah definitely we'll look this uh, more deeper in the future videos but uh, this was just an overview of the urls and uh, these are some files related to which are not much important and uh, this is your uh, manage.py this is very important to run your server and uh, basic configurations which go through django is required into this yeah so this was the basic um, uh, structure of your uh, django project we are still uh, we have still not created any apps so we'll do that in the further videos but th this is the least you can get started with so this was it uh, and uh, certain commands that will be very helpful for you guys to dig into is uh, Django admin uh, help so Django admin help will provide you all the commands which are required uh, to build your project or your app as you can see over here we have uh, our stra start project command will have the run server command so all the basic commands required to build a Django app will be available over here so you can just type in 
Django admin help. So yeah, this is the one point I missed in the previous video. So it is going to be helpful. Yeah, so let me just clear this out and uh, uh, let's run the server again to make sure our application is up and running so the command for that will be python 3 manage.py run server so this will start your server over here so as you can see we have uh, our application up and running on port number 8000 so this is your basic Django app so over here you have some warnings right so in this video we'll be looking into how we can uh, avoid or remove those warnings so for that we'll close our server and now clear this and the command for that will be uh, python 3 manage dot migrate so what this command will uh, do is that all the existing changes which you have done in your project will be applied to the Django uh, settings and it will migrate all the assets or uh, CSS file related static your static assets basically to your Django app and it will tell that yes uh, this is the changes which I have done to my project and uh, you can migrate this to my project or app whatever it can be so now let's see uh, manage dot uh, yeah run server so uh, we have no warnings or errors now as we have uh, migrated everything to our django project so this is one important point if you want to uh, get with the flow so let's close this so this uh, migrate command will be required in each and every step you as you proceed forward uh, forward with your uh, django project uh, even while providing any static urls or uh, database related changes or uh, static assets so make sure you uh, run this command whenever you make any changes to your project or add something uh, into it so yeah this was one important point and now we'll be looking into the admin panel so django is a very powerful backend and most of the stuff is pretty much in build within django so one of those utilities is admin panel so uh, We'll be looking into that in a minute. So let's run the server. Python 3 manage.py run server. And let's open up the port in the browser. So over here you can see our uh, project is up and running. But uh, let's navigate to slash admin. So over here you have the Django administration panel but over here you can see that you don't have a, a username or password until now right so as you can see now uh, this is up and running let's see where this uh, route is coming from as you can see this is the admin slash URLs uh, which is inbuilt within Django so you don't have to mention that but as you can see over here this uh, slash admin is coming from uh, the URLs from the backend itself right so all your URLs are going to be within this urls.py file or it will be included as a part of an app which you will see in the future videos so over here you will see the default app installed as an admin so this is also something which you get default with django so yeah this is uh, a point to note so this is your panel but how you can log into this right you don't have any credentials until now but for that you have to uh, follow along with me so let's close the server and let's create some username and password for your Django admin panel. So let's 
clear this and the command for this will be python 3 manage dot py create super user and hit enter so over here you will be prompted to provide your username uh, we, you can provide admin and uh, if you want to provide an email address you can do that as well and a password let's provide a password so uh, the password is not yet visible but it is uh, in there so let's enter admin key again okay so the password is uh, very small but i'll just bypass that validation because as you know django provides the security in build and it is not uh, accepting the password which i have uh, given but but obviously you can bypass that so you can just uh, and uh, why and uh, let's see this so super user created successfully now you have your admin credentials as you have provided above let's clear this and uh, navigate to refresh this again okay so let's run the server first and uh, refresh this so you have your uh, application up and running and let's provide the password and username so yes yeah, so we have logged in okay not now so this is your django administration panel which you get uh, default with django and uh, this has many capabilities when you proceed with your project so over here you can see groups and uh, users so we have one user which is me itself which admin with uh, the admin dot at the rate gmail dot com which we have provided by uh, uh, hitting the command create a super user so with that command you can create your admin credentials and uh, you can also provide many different things like uh, the password you can change it from here itself and uh, yeah so this is something which you get with Django in the build so this I have not written a single code but uh, this is pretty powerful enough to provide you such a configuration within the default app itself so yeah this is one of the feature main feature of Django let's navigate to home so this is your admin panel make sure you create a super user with good credentials and high security password and uh, keep that in handy will it will be required in our uh, future videos so let's you can also change your password from here itself but uh, you must know your uh, old password and uh, yeah you can provide your name admin i'm i've given my name as admin sorry admin and uh, you can log out from here so okay we are back to the login panel so um, yeah so this was uh, it for this video i think we have uh, looked into some basic commands of django uh, the admin panel some configuration files and etc so let's close this clear this and uh, yeah so this was it for this video if you have any queries and concerns regarding this you can surely comment down below or uh, you can hit me up on our telegram channel which will be linked below and uh, in the description so uh in the further in the third part of this video we'll be advancing more uh, and we'll be looking some deeper into the django and things like that so stay tuned for it and uh, yeah thanks for watching